Hi class, uh, welcome to IS371. I'm Professor Fahmi Jalani. Uh, today we take a look at chapter 9 uh, on uh, user domain policy. Uh, we will take a look at uh, what's the reason of having a user policy, uh, who are the regular privileged user, uh, AUP, acceptable user policy, PAA, privilege. Uh, level access agreement, SAP, uh, security awareness policy, the difference between public and private domain policy. So in a uh, user policy domain, okay, as we know today, uh, we, have, we are connected with social media. Uh, If you if you heard about the latest news about uh, TikTok, they trying to ban it because there is potential of uh, internal breach where an outsider could know uh, the insider news or practice of the insider, and also not forgetting human do make mistakes sometimes, and uh, different user uh, have different level of skill in using the software. Most threats are usually come from the inside, okay. And uh, and on top of that, uh, the weakest link uh, could also be compromised, uh, and which are usually uh, removed. So there are seven types of uh, user, okay. Uh, we have employees, administrator. Security, contractor, vendor, general public, and control panel. So let's take a look at types of user. So here we have a head of administrator database, okay, uh, followed by a user type. In this case, a database administrator, MySQL, Oracle, okay, or sub user type team. Uh, database operator uh, backup operator uh, next slide we take a look at uh, basic file call ID process okay, in this case if somebody want to access uh, given a new access of the system okay, you will request uh, and document the reason approve uh, run temporary fix problem log uh, once you fix the problem, you lock the resolution problem, then remove the access and review okay, uh, the activity. Let's take a look at example of demonetized zone uh, in terms of backend server. So here we have um, illustration of uh, an organization which has a uh, public WAN connected to a firewall uh, router in this case uh, towards a VPN firewall uh, uh, towards the DMZ or demetrialized zone uh, internal switch a public facing website and also a private LAN uh, to a router and to database server Of account, we have two types contingent and system. Okay, uh, this is contingent account usually unlimited rights install, configure, repair, recover, okay, remove. Okay, these are basically prime, prime, prime targets for hackers. Uh, and assigned to basically are not assigned to individual with disaster recovery event is declared next we have system account start stop manage system services okay uh, interactive or non-interactive or also could be called as service account so why is there the need to govern a uh, user policy so different users have different access 
okay, information for different system and different control. I uh, mentioned earlier they have uh, you mentioned about uh, type of policy, uh, Sabanes and Oxley, HIPAA, you should help ensure portability and accountability and also European data uh, protection directive uh, which some organization or you could follow it as a guideline. Next, we take a look at uh, AUP or acceptable user use policy. Uh, these are basically uh, protecting organization, the system, computer, or network, uh, managing the password, license, IP, email. Okay. On top of that, we also have PAA or privilege level access agreement. Okay. Uh, this Acknowledge the risk associated okay, uh, access okay, in terms of breach, and also it, it requires the user to comply with uh, approved organizing business, uh, no attempt of hacking, okay, and also uh, to protect uh, things like their files, report, and download. Moving along, we have SAP or Security Awareness Policy. Uh, these are basically basic principles of security awareness, risk and threat, uh, how to risk aspect to risk, suspicious activity, okay, uh, also create a culture awareness. So, who requires training? Okay, technically, all user managers. Okay, senior directors, top down, okay, auditors. Okay. Some of the best practices in domain policy are okay, not to open uh, unfamiliar emails, okay, encrypt everything, your communication, your files, uh, layered defense could be antivirus, firewall, and also take note of these privileges. Uh, update your software uh, in this case for a patch okay unique identi identity uh, and also protection so on top of that we mentioned about uh, this access privileges uh, you can customize uh, individual access uh, best fit privileges in terms of group and class So that's pretty much it for today. Uh, if you have any question, please feel free to email me. Thanks, bye.